Fox Business Trish Regan says Democrats are focused on tearing down President Trump while he continues to have political and economic victories, which are good for our entire nation. House Democrats still don't understand our separation of powers as they attempt to pull strings from their perch on Capitol Hill. All this while simultaneously promising to impeach the president again, should this time not work. Continue writing Bell if it's almost comical except that this affects us Americans, it affects our position in the world, the strength of our economy and the strength of our nation. With a market at 29,000 and the lowest unemployment rate in 50 years, we're managing pretty well in spite of these desperate Democrats. Ticker security last change change percent I, DJ IDOW Jones AVERAGES 29228.6132.570.11% I, COMPNASDAQ Composite INDEX 9413.2043634242.400.1 percent SP500 S. They understood that power could be used to corrupt. And tonight, that moment of truth is upon us. The left has chosen to rush through a so-called impeachment, choosing to undo the will of 63 million Americans who voted for President Trump, all just months ahead of an election in which the people would and could and should make the decision for themselves because they don't like the guy. Forget the fact that we have the lowest jobless rates in five decades, forget that he took out the number one and no. Two heads of ISIS, forget that he's bringing Iran finally to its knees by taking out its top terrorist who killed 600 Americans all while not hurting any innocent people. No, that's allegedly not allowed under the Democrats because it's assassination. Impeachment backfiring on Democrats, rep. Reschenthaler meanwhile, in terms of policy accomplishments, it doesn't matter that he publicly, for the first time in presidential history, has demanded China start playing by the rules that govern international trade. And none of it gets any credit from the left because they are so blinded by hate for Trump that they cannot bring themselves to join in on the fun. Instead of working with him, they want him gone, and they accuse of him being a racist and a national security threat. Our economy, our safety, our jobs all take a backseat to the left's political desire to hurt Trump. Thus, tonight, House congressional members of the left are now attempting to rewrite the rules. They've realized they did a lousy job in the House, and now, they want to retry the case themselves with more evidence. Trump slams Nancy Pelosi over, scam impeachment you're talking about the same team that's still mad Robert Mueller didn't get the president the first time around. You've got guests on CNN saying Mueller must be in poor mental health because, sorry to disappoint, but no, the president isn't a Russian spy. Keep in mind they impeached on two articles including obstruction of Congress, ludicrous. There was never obstruction because he's not obligated to give them a darn thing. He's the president, and we have separation of powers for a reason. They were too lazy and too much in a hurry to ever to take it to an independent judge, so that's a total sham, one big, bogus charge. The other one, abuse of power, that's their opinion, and they never bothered to prove it out. They could have subpoenaed John Bolton to testify, he says he was willing, but they didn't because they knew they had no case. Biden backtracks on impeachment subpoena meanwhile, the General Accountability Office, U.S. Gout found Obama's White House violated the law on at least three separate occasions, including when it shelled out money to exchange Taliban prisoners for a disgraced deserter Bowie Bergdahl. And did anyone suggest impeachment? No. So, we arrive where we are tonight, and the president's legal team is advising the whole thing to get thrown out. I, for one, would love to see the alleged whistleblower leaker up there testifying as well as Adam Schiff and a few others. However, I understand what they're doing. How can anyone trust these politicians at this point? Get Fox Business on the go by clicking here here's what Adam Schiff said today, if the House cannot call witnesses or introduce documents and evidence, it's not a fair trial. It's not really a trial at all.
He went on to say, the trial should be fair to the House, which has been wrongly deprived of evidence, I'm sorry. They had their chance. So, to come forward now and to ask for this, that and the other? Why didn't they just do their job when this whole thing was under their jurisdiction? I know, and Americans know, Democrats rushed it through, only for Nancy Pelosi to sit on her heels and debate whether to send it to the Senate, effectively risking a constitutional crisis. And now, they don't like the evidence they came up with. But, as Senator John Cornyn points out, that's not the Senate's problem. Varney, Democrats rattled by impeachment, if the House isn't prepared to go forward with the evidence they've produced in the impeachment inquiry, maybe they ought to withdraw the articles of impeachment and start over again, Sen. Cornyn, R. Texas, said. And that's exactly what they're talking about doing, Maxine Waters just came out and said, we will not stop. Whether or not that leads to another impeachment activity, I don't know but I know we must continue, you can't make it up. Let's be clear, that was a threat. Maxine Waters wants you to know that if at first you don't succeed, impeach, impeach again. Democrats have done our country a tremendous disservice. They're mired more and more in, all shift while the president touts his economic and foreign policy choices on the international stage. The president saying today, a pro-worker, pro-citizen, pro-family agenda demonstrates how a nation can thrive when its communities, its companies, its government work together for the good of the whole nation. The Democrats have morphed themselves into the anti-worker, anti-American, as it relates to Iranian terrorists and China, an anti-family political party. They have strayed too far from the values, economic and personal, that have made America the powerhouse we are. And in doing so, they are increasingly putting themselves right out of business. Click here to read more on Fox Business Lays Block Ads. Why?